we are happy to be joined by the general manager of the New York Rangers, Jeff Gordon. Thanks for being here, Jeff. I know uh, a lot of travels uh, going on right now as you're scouting. What are you seeing out there as far as the talent level? Well, we're, you know, we have a lot of people in a lot of rinks right now after getting all these picks. Um, you know, we're trying to get as many uh, viewings on them as possible right now. And it uh, looks like another good draft. So we're excited about what, uh, what lies ahead. Jeff, you've had uh, obviously a lot of your young players in the lineup this year, your youngest team going into tonight's game. So you've had a lot to watch here as well. Uh, what's been your overall thought about the progress of, uh, of the young players that you've seen up here this year? Oh, I think for the most part, really positive. I, I think if you look if you look at each guy, I think you're seeing, you know, some peaks and valleys. Um, but, you know, for the most part, for, for kids that are 19, 20, 21 years old, some of the things they've done has been impressive. When you when you look and and uh, and watch what they've done this year, uh, does that alter what you might want to think about when you come to the draft based on what you've seen this year of these kids? Well, I think so. I think we look at everything to see where you know, let's say Heedle, where he's at. Is he going to be a center? Is he going to be a wing? Uh, how we can use him? The power play? What? Where's Howden fit in? Where does Leas fit in? So you know, we're going through all these different scenarios. Um, and right now, you know, I think they all look good at times. And uh, you know, tonight will be another test for them to see where they're at. How important are these last nine games as far as the progress is concerned and your evaluation as to their future with the team? Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing is, you know, to watch them now, to give them these the ability to play against good players, play against National League Hockey League players, uh, and to see where they're at. Um, you know, these are games that are tough right now. You know, you you want to be playing for the playoffs. You want to, there's a certain thing we all want to be doing is winning. And uh, right now, the best we can do is these guys got to play play hard, show, it they, show us they belong, show us they want to be here in the future. There's a lot of players on our team right now playing for something, and we, that's the important part. Uh, sorry, Jeff. Uh, we haven't seen... Uh, uh, your three number one picks from a season ago or from from last draft uh, your number one pick was Vitaly Kravtsov what was his progress uh, this year and what's his status coming uh, going forward yeah so Kravtsov he had a really good year in the KHL for a young player uh, to just about lead their league to lead his team in scoring uh, the world junior to be so effective they moved him to center he did a good job there so we're excited to get him over here as soon as we can I know his contract ends uh, we'll be talking to him soon to see if we can uh, and we can get that job done You've got a lot more draft picks. You made uh, some great picks last year. You had 10 picks. You've got another 10 picks this year. What's your plan as far as what you want to do at the draft? Well, I think as we're going about this process, you know, we want to get better every day, and the only way we can do that is to get assets, to get good young players. Uh, that's the way people have done it in this league, and, you know, to go a few years there without first-round picks uh, it was difficult, but now here we are, and a few years later, and the opportunity to have maybe two, maybe three more, uh, possibly even four. Uh, it's exciting for us, you know, to get that kind of caliber of player. You know, it'll be in the top ten this year, and uh, to get another player of that caliber. So those, that's what we need to do. That's a, that's going to be our way back. Hey Jeff, what? You know, sometimes we talk about all these kids, and you've got such a young team, and sometimes we forget about because all of a sudden they seem older, like Buchnevich and Pion. But these guys are only 22, 23, 24 years of age. What are your thoughts on uh, on on their progress? Some of the kids that have been around for a year or yeah, so. Yeah, I think Pavel in particular has has really come on lately and scoring goals, and you see his skill level. Uh, he's been really consistent physically, uh, so that's nice to see as we go down the stretch here. Uh, with Neil, you know, maybe as we look back on the season, he was playing a lot of minutes uh, against the best players in the league and that's a lot that's a lot to ask of a guy that was really his first year in the league so uh, I think overall if you look at him he's I think he's in the 20s for points um, I think he's got a nice future for us in the NHL he's a hard-working kid that can play against good players so he's gonna keep getting better you know speaking of defensemen uh, and we only saw a, a, a brief sampling of it but if it if it's anything from what we saw the play of Libor Hayek, who uh, statistically didn't have, didn't look like he was having a great year in Hartford, which yes. is the American League, which is different. But when he came up and played the four and a half games with the Rangers, the kid looked like a top-notch player. What were your thoughts on him? Yeah, the same. You know, we, we go down to Hartford, and you, you hope you hope they're adjusting to the game, the short, the smaller rink. Um, you hope that uh, power play, penalty kill, he's getting all those opportunities, that he makes the best of it. But you're right. When he came up here, he seemed to slow it down a little bit more in his brain. Uh, he did not look out of place with his skating and his talent and uh, really exciting for what's to come with Libor. When you look at the team, the kids that you've drafted, and you look at the future, do you have a vision of what the Rangers will look like in a couple of years? 
Um, we do. Listen, we want to be a hard team to play against, and that can mean a lot of different things, but we want to be skilled, we want to be fast, we want to be a really competitive team that has hockey sense. So we're trying to add those players all the time. Uh, I would say, you know, some of the top teams in the league, Tampa Bay, Toronto tonight, we're going to see Boston. They're really deep. They, have, they, have, they play the right way, they play a good structure, but they're really skilled players, and, you know, that's what we want. We want to get as many skilled players as we can. We want guys that will do anything to win, and, uh, you know, that's what we're trying to do. Does it matter for you, Jeff, when you when you come into a draft, whether you draft for position or you draft what you think is the best the best asset available? You know, I, I've been asked this a lot, and it's for for us, it's not football where they have a need and the guy's going to come in right away. In most cases, I, I think we've got to take the best player, and in the end, if we keep doing that, I, I think that's the best way to go and uh, to build our team. And if we keep taking the best player, um, then you know, three, two, three, four years down the road. We'll be a better team because we took the right person. Do you like the way the draft looks this year? Yeah, we do. You know, I spent a lot of time with the scouts the last few days in particular. Uh, they really like the depth of the draft. You know, when we're going to have a top 10 pick, they're really excited. And, uh, you know, I think that even later on in the 20s, in the second round, third round, our guys are really comfortable that we're going to have some good players. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Yep. Continued good luck in your search for talent. It's been going well so far. Hope it continues to go well for you. Okay, thanks guys for your thank, support. Thank, thank you, you very much.